The Wilburton Estate was originally just a private house, but when it became an inn in the 50s, they added several different villas and bed and breakfast rooms on the property. The 30-acre Wilburton property consists of the mansion, which has 11 bedrooms, and then the seven other homes on the hilltop. So now, in addition to the tennis court and the swimming pool and the hammock and the sculpture garden museum of the creative process, we have seven different buildings. One of them is a two-bedroom cottage, another one is an eight-bedroom reunion house, and then we also have a few six-bedroom houses and some more bed and breakfast rooms. Half a mile away, we have our Batten Hill Valley mansion that has 15 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. My parents bought the inn almost 30 years ago. We had come for a dinner for my father's 50th birthday. I said to my wife, we're going to buy this place. And my mom fell into the soup. She was very surprised, but she didn't object to it. Our mother passed away a few years ago, and that was really when my siblings, Tylee, Melissa, Max, and myself to some extent, stepped in. We're a family that runs this place together and that's our great joy and privilege. I think a lot of people sort of enjoy coming here and feeling almost as if they're guests in a, in a house, in a very beautiful house. The best part about running a family inn is that we're free to bring what excites us to our guests. My sister loves the theater and has Murder Mystery Weekends. The Murder Mystery is a, really a whole weekend event and it's wonderful to come up on Friday, bring your costume. Saturday, you can be a part of the mystery. It's like being a part of Clue. I have two brothers, Oliver and Max. Oliver's a farmer. Max is a PhD, but also innkeeper. Maxie is the baby of the family who was only three when our parents bought the inn. So Max knows everything about running an inn because he truly grew up here. Although he's a PhD, he's supervising breakfast, he's <laughs> setting up the tables for the parties, he's printing up the bar menus, he's also an amazing bartender. Oliver's role at the inn is multifaceted. I really admire Oliver, who is sort of a rock star, organic farmer. Architect, he builds barns, he invents things. Baker, visionary. We serve Oliver's bread at breakfast here every morning. It's Earth Sky Time, organic, artisanal, wood-fired, fantastic bread. Oliver's always been my friend, my teacher, and really the epitome of the idea of a brother. I've been a songwriter in New York City ever since I graduated from Brown, and I never imagined I'd go into my parents' business, but I love being an innkeeper. Melissa is a force of nature. She's our cheerleader, our salesperson. She and her dog, Jetson, are the welcome committee. They greet everyone, they get to know them. They are really sort of the heart and the warmth of the Wilburton Inn. Albert is unabashedly our guru in addition to being our father. His passion is conflict resolution. His theory involves physics and science and art. My dad takes a great interest in the guests and enjoys talking about philosophy, psychology, art, morality, religion, politics, and his sculpture gardens on the estate are so intriguing to guests who goes to a Vermont country inn and sees these massive art installations on the grounds. But you do at the Wilburton, and it's all thanks to my dad. The Wilburton Inn can serve as a place for people to have a vacation and an education and a fun time. That's really part of the fun of going to an inn as opposed to a, you know, a hotel where it's corporate, that you get to meet real people and a real family. I'm so happy to see one event after another bringing people here and giving them a sense of welcome and happiness and meaningfulness. We want to help you have the best possible family vacation or event in Vermont.